Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be diving into Frieden Beyond Journey's End, Episode 4. Glad we finally got to see a magic battle occur because that was one of the few things the show hadn't shown me yet. We obviously are able to do the drama. We got great music, storytelling, but we're in this fantasy world where fights can happen, but we haven't really been shown a whole lot of it. So it's really cool to see it happen and watch the show really stretch its legs and be able to display the animation in, in that regard and, and say, hey, yeah, we can get really touchy feely here, but if we want to let loose and have some fun and really show some action, we can do that too. Because I find that sometimes with shows that focus mainly on character development and things like that, they tend to leave other elements behind. And sometimes action is that element. But it's really cool that that's not the case here. I'm excited to watch this next episode. Uh, guys, feel free to check out my YouTube memberships. They're only a dollar and they get you early access to these reactions and also full reactions too. So by the time you're seeing this, my members are probably at least a couple of episodes ahead of you. So we're gonna go ahead and dive on into this. I do wonder if what we're seeing here is kind of the extent of what we're gonna be exploring, which is just Frieden and her interactions with her characters and having flashbacks, things like that. Or is there something coming later that is like the main thing that we're going to be dealing with. We're supposed to be in an era of peace, though I suppose that can end at any time. That person looks evil. And it, it, it's an elf person. I, I remember asking that, are there other elves? Another year has passed. Is a grimoire? That's the person that gave us the quote in the beginning, right? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we thought. Again, Frieden seems to be just doing things to progress herself. <laughs> she seems to have trouble waking up. I can relate. Like, nope, I won't be awake for that. That is a ton of wreckage. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I don't know if it's a common occurrence for her to sleep while reading books. I just wonder if those books have anything in them that are relevant to like what's going on. <laughs> I was gonna mention that. The only way I see sunrises is if I'm up all night. Mm. So the reason has been revealed why we're doing this. It's good that she's got a fur in there to look after her. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, it's alright. Oh, but she likes it. Oh, and there it is. I guess just being able to enjoy it with someone. まあ、私も天国には会議的だけど、今の人類の魔法技術じゃ死後の魂の観測ができないから、実在を証明できないんだよね。Interesting that something like magic can't quite correlate anything with the afterlife either. Oh, he's there. 
アイゼン何か手伝ってほしいこととかってあるお迎えにはまだ早いぞなんで知っているの That's good, because I was gonna mention, is he gonna die too? ハイターが生徒に残されたフランメの記録をまとめ上げて割り出した場所だ。わかった。まずは大きな木を探そうか。途方もないな。Gotta find the, the big one. 変わったな。お前は人の時間を気にするようなやつじゃなかった。Yep, because people's time is important, especially when they're mortal. Uh, and she made sour grapes. Daima ho tsukai from me no shikiniwa. Shisha to Taiwa shita to you, Kiroku a no gotte iru to sare te iru. Oh, so it's a female mage. I would like to know more about this, uh, flam. Free day sama. Taiji mo iseki mo. Kyoruk na kekai de mamorare te te. Oh, we're about to bust this wide open. Tayori na iru subanda ne. So de mo ne sa. Koitsu ga se cho sreba. Oh, is this her? It's her master? Ah, wow. You would think it'd be like some mage that not many people would know, but it, it's her master. Freeren was the one who was the one who was the one who was the one who was the one. Okay, so she really is like a mystical hero. We've just been alive that long. この世界の人々が天国と呼ぶ場所。そこは多くの魂が集まる場所で、私はかつての戦友たちと対話した。Wow. 今は魔王城がある場所だ。オレオールを探してヒンメルと話すんだ。俺を手伝ってくれるんだろ。あ、now he wants to cash in。寒い、寒い。うなされてる。<笑>魔王城のあたりってそんなに寒いんですか ？I don't like going to cold places, let alone Demon King castles。なあ、フェロン。そいつはいい師匠か。どうでしょうか。That's a good question。ただひたすらに魔法を求めて旅をして、振り回されてばかりです。もしかしたら。私にはあまり興味がないのかもしれません。Well, that's not true. We, got, we had the previous episode where we did things for you. But maybe we haven't learned things about her, so she, she probably has a point. 旅を始めてからは、誕生日にプレゼントをくれるようになったんです。Yeah, there you go. 弟子を取ったりはしないのかいろいろ教えてもすぐ死んじゃうでしょう。フリーレン、人との関係はそういうものじゃない。I mean, when you're an immortal, you might have to think that way. フェルン、そいつは。いい師匠だそうですね。Yeah, I think she's a good master. She's got some funny quirks about her, but those wouldn't get in my way of thinking she's a good person. 長い旅路になる。俺たちは10年かかった。Holy crap. たった10年の冒険だよ。A mere ten year adventure. Wow. To be told something like that. Yeah, Frieden is a really interesting character in that it's kind of hard sometimes to get a beat on her. To, to be able to understand her on a consistent basis, I think. I think with some shows, you get the gist of a character and then you can expect him to react in certain ways when certain things come up. I find that I'm constantly on my toes when it comes to Frieden. And. How she interacts with Fern or with you know, other situations. Because I think there's still some things in her that she exhibited you know, 80 years ago, and then there are some things she's learned since then, you know, ever since Heimel died. And it's cool that some of her old party members do notice the change in her, even if there are subtle changes. It's almost like a, a seed of empathy has been planted in Fridin, and it's kind of just blossoming. However, it does、uh, within certain situations. But yeah, this journey to the Demon King's castle is going to be pretty interesting if it's going to be a 10 year ordeal. It already kind of foreshadows how everyone's going to be by the time we get to the end. I'm assuming this is going to take up the rest of the season. It sounds like a pretty lengthy journey unless we do a lot of time skips, things like that. It's really interesting that it's going to be. Taking this amount of time. The way that this show is structured, it does kind of remind me a little bit of Two Year Eternity when it comes to characters aging over time. <laughs> But it also does 
get me worried about are we going as far into this journey to the point where we might see Fern become an old lady and then she dies, you know, something like that. Is that the extent that we're going to? I thought you need to answer that for me if you know already, but I'm definitely committed to the journey. I can't wait to build up these feelings for these characters. And if we have to let them go at some point, I'm I'm ready to, to already get to that point that those emotional peaks. But it was also a really cool uh, nugget of information about her master, you know, the person that we've been getting quotes from, like literally like that we're talking about a legendary hero. Lo and behold, it's uh, Frieden's master because she's been around for that long. Frieden, she's just like, oh yeah, you know, it's my master, you know. That's going to be it for me though. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. I'm going to be moving on to the next episode here and, uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.